question one state which of the following are equations with a variable keep in mind with a variable not a numerical equation he's asking give reason for your answer identify the variable from the equations with a variable so first part you can see it has equal sign therefore it is an equation it has left hand side and right hand side and there is a variable x therefore it is correct an equation with variable x similarly you have to do others now b part you can see it is greater than sign a it doesn't have equal sign straight away cut it c part indeed it is an equation but it is not having a variable therefore it is a numerical equation not an equation with a variable therefore we will cross it here you can see this is same as the previous one that is c because it doesn't have any variable in it it is a numerical equation so we will cross it now here you can see we have equal sign we have left hand side and right hand side now there is a variable x so it satisfy our criteria therefore we will take it and an equation with a variable x is the solution f part you can see here we have equal to sign that is left hand side and right hand side we have and what you can see there is a variable x it is an equation with variable x so that was your f part now here you will straight away cut it why because there is no equal sign it is less than sign it doesn't follow now here again what we can see it has equal sign left hand side and right hand side and it has a variable therefore it meets our criteria an equation with variable n is the solution i part it is very similar to the c and d part of this question why because it doesn't have any variable in it although it is a numerical equation j part pc equal sign left hand side right hand side and there is a variable therefore it satisfy our criteria and an equation with variable e a part 20 equal to 5y well we have left hand side and right hand side we have equal sign and there is a variable y it is correct an equation with variable y so you have to just see three things equal sign here it doesn't have equal sign so we will cross it and another thing you have to see that it must have a variable in it now here you can see it is not equal you will straight away cut it again here there is no variable here although it is a numerical equation equation is something that equates that has equal sign as in this case we have equation and it is also have variable x so this is an equation with variable x so this is how you do your question number first question second complete the entries in the third column of the table so this is the third column we have to tick for yes and we have to cross for no this is what we are doing in this question this is the equation column this is variable column so what is value of variable value of variable is that value which satisfy the equation for instance you can see here if i put y equal to 10 because it is a multiplication it doesn't equal to 80 well if we put y equal to 10 into it 10 means multiplication so it will mean 10 into 10 is 100 so it doesn't satisfy because 100 is not equal to 80 therefore this is false and we will cross it that was your a b part 10y again multiplication with 8 this time well yes this satisfy because 10 eats the 80 and it equates to 80 as per the given equation therefore we will take it now again we have same equation and if we put y equal to 5 now it is we are asked to then we have 50 then we have 50 which is not equal to 80 so what you see in all these three starting ones that we have only one solution that was your 8 now here 4l equal to 20 multiply 4 with 20 it is 80 which is not equal to 20 therefore we will cross it or you can say it is not the solution for this equation now e part again the same equation now l is 80 here what is 80 into 4 it is 32 that is 320 this is the short way of doing it just first multiply and then attach zero to it that was your e part now again the same equation now we have L equal to five. Well, 
0.45 to 20 it satisfies our equation therefore what you see in all these above three examples only one will satisfy it in this case five satisfy this equation whenever you have such kind of equation only one value will satisfy here now you can see here b plus 5 equal to 9 when you add 5 to 5 you get 10 so it is not equal therefore we will cross it which part now 9 plus 5 is what 14 so 14 equal to 9 no therefore we will cross it now again the same equation now if we put b equal to 4 a variable is something that changes its values therefore b is changing its value now 4 plus 5 is 9 which solves a question or it is a solution for our equation it satisfies it so you can see only one solution will satisfy any equation and here you can also match it 5 solved our equation that is 4l equal to 20 so what we get from this exercise is that only there is one solution possible for any given equation now here again we have three parts that is that is h minus 8 equal to 5 while placing 13 into it then 13 minus 8 is 5 which is equal and it matches in our first case only now we don't even have to check the others because we knew from our previous examples that there is only one solution that will satisfy it however in order to demonstrate it we can do it look 8 minus 8 is 0 which is not equal to 5 we will cross it and again 0 minus 8 is minus 8 because minus has greater sign therefore minus 8 which is not equal to 5 now again we have another 5 set of 3 plus 3 equal to 1 and we know that only 1 will satisfy so let's try it we would place 3 3 plus 3 is 6 which is not equal to 1 therefore it doesn't follow here 1 plus 3 is what 4 it doesn't follow now minus 1 will not follow well if you put minus 2 it does follow why because minus 2 plus 3 is 1 why 1 because whenever the signs are different we subtract and sign comes of greater number therefore this e equal to minus 2 will solve this equation others will be false so we will cross rest of them and take this one so this was your question number second. Question third. Pick out the solution from the values given in the bracket next to each question. Show that the other values do not satisfy the equation. Well, we have learned it. Only one value can satisfy a given equation. So solution is something that satisfies the equation. That value of variable that satisfy the given equation. So we will consider the following questions. 5m equal to 60. If we place m equal to 10, then 10 fives of 50 is not equal to 60, and 5 fives of 25 is not equal to 60. Therefore, both these will not follow. This is also not following because 25 is not equal to 60. Now, placing 12 in place of m, 12 fives are 60. So it satisfies. We don't even have to check for 15. Why? Because there is only one solution. Also, if you want to check, 15 fives are 75, which doesn't follow. Because 75 is not equal to 60. Now, similarly, for B part, n plus 12 equal to 20. So placing 12, 12 plus 12 will not follow. 8 will follow because 12 plus 8 is 20. We don't even have to check rest of the given options. Now, 20 plus 12 is how much? 32 which is not equal to 20 now 0 plus 12 is 12 which is not again equal to 20 so this is the way of doing this you just place the given value into the given equation now here if we place at p 0 we will get minus 5 which is not equal to 5 therefore we will cross it if you place 10 then 10 minus 5 yes it is true it is 5 therefore this is the given solution for the equation rest we can cross them even without checking them D part 2 by 2 equal to 7. So 7 by 2 is a fractional value, therefore we will cross it. 2 by 2 is 1, which is not equal to 7, we will cross it. 10 by 2 is 5, okay, falls again. And 14 by 2, now let's check for 14 by 2, well it is correct. 
you can see here that is 7 now e part r minus 4 4 minus 4 is 0 yes in the first place we got our solution you don't even have to check the rest of them because minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8 which is not equal to 0 and 8 minus 4 is 4 which is not equal to 0 Take any value, it will not satisfy it because we have found a solution which is 4. Again, 0 minus 4 is minus 4, which is not equal to 0. Now, f part x plus 4 equal to 2. Put minus 2. Well, yes, because signs are different, we will subtract it and sign comes of greater number. 4 is greater, therefore, here also we get our solution in the first number. So, therefore, minus 2 is indeed the solution of this equation that is x plus 4 equal to 2 we don't even have to check the rest of it but let's check for demonstration purposes so 2 plus 4 is 6 which is not equal to 2 and 4 plus 4 is what 8 which is not equal to 2 therefore this is your question number third question fourth a complete the table and by inspection of the table find the solution to the equation m plus 10 equal to 16 so we are given with the equation and we are given with the variable we place the value of variable in the given equation and find whether it is the given solution or not so 1 m is equal to 1 so it will give you 11 because 1 plus 10 is 11 which is not equal to 16 it is not the solution now placing 2 it will give you 12 which is not equal to 16 3 will give you 13 you have to reach till 16 because that will be our answer again if we put 4, we'll get 14. If we put 5, we'll get 15. And if we put 6, 10 plus 6 is 16. So 6 is the solution here for the given equation. It satisfies the given equation. Rest, we don't even have to check. But you can check from here that what are the possible values that has been done for you. B part. Complete the table and by inspection of the table, find the solution to the equation 5t equals 35. 5t means 5 is multiplied with t. Now 3 gives 15, 4 gives 20. Now 5 5 is 25 which is not equal to 35. We will keep going on. 6 5 is 30 not equal. Well 7 into 5 is 35 and we got a solution that is 7. Rest you can check from here. C part complete the table and find the solution of the equation z over 3 or z divided by 3 to give you 4 using the table. Now we will put 8 in place of z and 8 by 3 is it 4? Well it is not. It is 2 and 2 by 3. You can check it. It is 6 plus 2 put by 3. Now 9 gives 3. Again not a desired solution. 10 gives 3 and 1 by 3. Not a desired. Similarly for 11. But when you place for 12, you see 12 by 3 gives you 4, therefore 12 is your solution for the given equation. That is z over 3 equal to 4. Rest, you can check from here. Now, deep part, complete the table and find the solution to the equation m minus 7 equals to 3. Now, we are doing the same thing. Putting 5 minus 7, it is what? Minus 2 because sign is greater of negative, therefore minus 2. And we have to subtract when signs are different. Similarly, putting 6, 6 minus 7 is minus 1 which is not equal to 3, 7 minus 7 is 0, not equal to 3, 8 minus 7 is 1, which is not equal to 3, similarly for 9, but when you place 10, 10 minus 7 is 3, therefore we get our solution, rest, you can see from here, so this was your fourth question, fifth, solve the following riddles, you may yourself construct such riddles, but here, we are not going to construct our own riddles. We are just going to solve it. Now, who am I? Number first, go around a square, counting every corner, thrice and no more. Add the count to me to get exactly 34. So, what does this mean? This means we have to go around a circle. So, this is you standing there. Okay. You are going to the corners or to the perimeter of the square. You have to do it three times. So, let's count it. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We made 3 rounds. Alright. Therefore, we have written 3 into 4 is 12. 
Now add the count to me. So what does it mean? So what should be added to this number that is 4 to the 12 in order to get 34? So by inspection, we see that if we add 22 to 12, we will reach 34. So our solution is x equals to 22. So this is your question I. Second, for each day of the week, make an up count from me. Up count means you count to some particular given position. Okay, now if you make no mistake, you will get 23. So here we have written the days of the week. You can take it in any manner, not necessarily from Sunday, but you have to make them count only once. Each day has to be counted once. So you can see what the question says that if you count to the last day of the week, you have to get 23. So we have to go in reverse direction. So for Sunday, it is 23. Okay. Now let's try. We have to get this final number. So how we got 16? 16 is our answer. So have we got it here? Well, we will up count to Sunday. Okay. For instance, if it was 16 initially, then we added 1 to it. So Monday was 17 and then 1 added to it, then is 18. And then again, we added to it that gave 19 and then added again. So in similar way, the last day of the week is Sunday. Therefore, we reached 23. So from where we started? So this was the question. So we started from 16. Okay, this was your second question. Third, I'm a special number. Take away from me a six, a whole cricket team you will still be able to fix. What does this mean? Whole cricket team? It means number of players in a cricket. You can see here a bat. So it has 11. Cricket team has 11 players. So the question is, what is that number? from which if we subtract 6, we get 11. So by inspection or by your previous exercises, you can see if we take 17 and subtract 6 from it, we'll be able to get 11. So 17 is a special number in case of third. Fourth part, tell me who I am. I shall give a pretty clue. You will get me back if you take me out of 22. So this is a very good riddle. You can see what is asking for that what should be subtracted from 22 so that we get it back again. So by trying, you see, if we subtract 11 from 22, we get back 11 back. So you can see 11 is getting back when you subtract it from 22. So here was a hint in this question that is, you get me back. So this was the last question of question number five.